Shipping containers turned into stores. It's all part of downtown Cleveland's revival. This is a really cool story. Homa Bash has been following it. She's in the newsroom now with the details. Hey, Homa. Hey, Mike. The small block pro project in downtown Cleveland just picking up steam. They opened the Brown store on the day of the first home game. Just a few minutes, they're cutting the ribbon for two new shipping container stores that'll call the parking lot on 6th and St. Clair home. Retail shops and shipping containers. Yes, that's a thing. We are borrowing this idea from other cities where it's been successful. Two more launched in the warehouse district this week, right next to the Brown shop that opened a couple months ago. It's an effort to get retailers into downtown at a fraction of the cost. Downtown is, is the population is growing. We're at 13,000 now, but it's just not quite enough for retail to thrive. And so the large spaces with the downtown rents was just a little bit too much for retail to, to make it work. The boxes are sized at just 160 square feet, which might seem tiny, but is actually an upgrade for Caroline Dengel, owner of the Wandering Wardrobe. Three more feet here and two more feet height. That's because the 23-year-old is used to running her shop out of a converted FedEx truck. I didn't want a huge floor plan because that way I have to fill it with a lot of stuff. And because the truck is so small, I have a limited amount of inventory. So it was a really good transition space for me. The other new store is the established Tremont Shop Banyan Box. Coming from a 2,000 square foot space to this, little more of a challenge for owner Christy Murdoch, but one that allows her to save on hiring staff, ordering inventory, and renting a larger, more expensive space downtown. It allows us to kind of test the market to see if it's something that we would want to expand into, into a bigger space without having a lot of overhead. Small spaces doing big things. The stores are open from Wednesday to Saturday, and on days when the Browns play at home, the rent for these three is under 500 bucks, which might explain why there's a wait list of about 20 other retailers to get in. Each container costs about $20,000 to retrofit. There are plans to open up more. Live in the newsroom, I'm Homa Bash for the now.